grab a look at what Shanghai looked like before Shanghai. successfully survived three trains in rush hour and now we're heading to meet our tour guide at a park and I can tell you one thing for sure I am hungry food stop number one we're having the four kings of breakfast Yo Tiao with the soy milk, you'd like normally dip it in. Then we're having one of the glutinous rice balls, savory, and then we're gonna have a flatbread, which is sweet. <laughs> Feed me. I've got my soy milk here, yeah. and we've got the yo tiao. Then this is the sweet flatbread, and the glutinous rice ball. Yes. This yo tiao, wow. So fresh, you just dip it in your soy milk. This one's literally got like sugar running through it. Whatever you want to bring it, yes. see the sugar. This one is more savory, it's got salted egg yolk. It's got the same yotiao in the middle of it, <laughs> and then pork floss. The yotiao is still the winner for me. King of breakfast foods. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. That shop also is a co sharing shop. So the breakfast people open at like 6 a.m. and they run through until maybe 11, 10, 11 a.m. And then another lot of people come in and they open an evening restaurant from like 2 until 2 a.m. Or, or like 5 until 2 a.m. Um, so it's actually shared by two businesses, but it means that the space is utilized all the time. This is the scallion pancake. <laughs> this is the Shanghai traditional breakfast. This one has yeah, two I think that one is not too. And this is the regular one. It's so fresh, honestly. Literally came straight off the pan into my mouth. I've all seen this one before. This is the Chinese pancake, the Jianbing. I love this. It's so good. The beast, she's a Jianbing beast. Look at her go. This whole street is filled with breakfast food. This is more of the Yotiao, some salted egg. And then over here, you've got some people working away to make the bao tzu. Oh, wow. This is the place to be. Scallion pancake left. This is the normal version and this is the chili version. If it's down to me, chili always wins. The chili version is oh. <laughs> I'm in a really happy place right now. Pop some vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have a little bit of chili, of course. Yes. Chili! <laughs> Yum. Okay, so these pot stickers obviously have that scolding hot soup inside them that when you take a bite, it normally burns your tongue. Can you hear us all slurping our soup? Snippy, 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 snippy. 
Mushroom and veggies. Yeah. And this powder is the sesame paste. So this is um sweet. Wow. So these are like simultaneously steamed and fried. Wow. And they always have a pan on the go because they're so busy. He's a pot sticker magician. This is one of those places that you feel like you can't speak too loudly. This place is called Egg and it's just super hip and trendy. As I said, super hip and trendy. This is a traditional wet market. Um, as you can see here, they have their daily prices for everything. And it's all done by the 500 grams, which is called a gin. So when you're asking and negotiating for prices, they'll say, oh, it's this much money for 500 grams or for one gin. however you want to say it. This, 18 bowls of goodness. The last stop on the tour is a bakery. Oh my goodness. If there was a time that smell vision could exist, it would be now. The smell in here is insane. So good, buttery, sweet. And just the golden brown of everything. This, it just looks so inviting. This is what dreams are made of. Just to finish it off, a little bit of sweet. Mm. So good. So, so good. <laughs> 